Hi, this is Sherry. Welcome to My Journey in Clay, where today we're going to make a pressed tray. It's a really simple project, but a lot of fun because it looks uh, so it looks like you spent more time than what you did on it. To start off, we're going to have a slab of clay. I have some uh, light colored clay here. And I'm going to rib it to uh, make sure it's smooth. This is about three eighths of an inch thick. I've already ribbed the other side. The materials that we're going to need are a simple wooden plaque that I got from a hobby store. So I have a wooden plaque here and then what I did was I took some paper, I laid the plaque on the paper, I traced, I traced around it and then I went out a little bit further to make it uh, like maybe, I don't know, three quarters of an inch uh, bigger than the actual piece. So you can see I, I, I traced the plaque and then I cut around it, leaving a, a pretty good edge there. So I'll take my paper pattern, place it on the clay and cut around it. Now I have my piece cut. The next thing I'm going to do is take some plastic wrap and smooth all around the edges. And what I'll do is I'll go around it the first time and just sort of not press too hard, but just press enough to make them a little bit smooth. And then after I go around that first time, what I'll do is I will go around again, but uh, press it a little bit harder making it a, a little more, um, uh, you know, pushing it, making a, a nicer edge. So I'll just press down a little bit harder next time. Once I have made that tapered edge on this, I will flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. I'll flip it over one more time, and then I'll go over this, uh, this is going to be the top. I'm going to go over this one more time to make sure that these edges are nice and tapered. Okay, now that we have this done, ready for our next step. Our next step is going to be to put this piece that we've already cut out and tapered and put it onto the foam and then press down with the plaque. So I'm going to carefully uh, take this off, gently slide it onto the foam. I have a piece of foam here that is a good two inches thick. doesn't have to be quite that thick, but um, I find it to work the best to have it um, that thick if I can. So then I'm going to take my plaque and center it on the clay. So now I have it centered on the clay and then applying even pressure, I'm gonna push down and wiggle a little, little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this off slide it onto my uh, working board here and just gently wiggle this to remove it.
there we go. So this is ready to go if you want to uh, biscuit first and then glaze. But we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to decorate with lace and slip and under glaze. This is a technique that I have tried before that I really kind of enjoy. I have a piece of uh, lace here and I'm going to lay this lace on my little serving tray. Just sort of gently press it down, very gently. Then I'm going to take slip mixed with some underglaze here. Let me stir this up a little more. So this is slip with enough underglaze added to give it the color that I want. Do remember though that this color will be uh, a little more intense uh, once you fire it. So here we have slip, underglaze mixed in. As I said, you just need enough underglaze to get a color. Then I use a brush which is uh, got a straight edge to it. Doesn't really have to be stiff as long as it has kind of a straight edge. And then I'll take this slip with the underglaze and just paint over the lace. Now when you're painting over the lace, I found that it seems to be better when you are uh, going to the edge of the lace to air on the side of not getting over the edge, but rather if it doesn't quite get to the edge, that's okay. Because once you get over the edge, the lines can get a little sloppy if they're over the edge, whereas it seems to blend in better if you uh, just try to get, you know, as much as close to the edge as you can without going over. I did try this technique just using underglaze. And you know, I had spotty results, to tell you the truth. One time I did it, and it turned out fine. But then the other two times I did it, it, it um, was very uh, blurry, and it, it just didn't look good. It wasn't, it wasn't sharp at all. So I think perhaps if you, I'm not sure, perhaps if you have the underglaze is a little thicker, that might be a little bit better. I don't know, but I've just had such inconsistent results. I found that mixing the slip really um, makes a difference. It seems to be very consistent. All right, let's gently pick this lace up. And there we have it. And then I will bisque fire this, probably just put a clear over top of it and that's our finished tray. As I said, you can do all sorts of other glaze combinations or whatever you want to do for these trays. They're just kind of handy. It's a little project that doesn't take much uh, time and they look really nice. Here are some examples of these little trays that I made earlier using the same technique for this one. And I also added some uh, around the border just for interest. This one is the same technique, although I tried using some different colors to see how that would look. Now you remember I said something about using uh, just underglaze without the slip, and that's what this one was. So if you can see, it's just not nearly as crisp. It's okay, but it's just not as nice. So using the slip really makes a difference. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you tried this technique. Thanks for watching.